वेलकम स्टूडेंट्स टू कंसाइक्रा एकेडमी द टॉपिक ऑफ दिस वीडियो इज क्वेश्चन वाइज ए बी सी एनालिसिस इन ए एफ एम आई हैव रिटर्न इट हियर यू कैन सी क्वेश्चन वाइज ए बी सी एनालिसिस इन ए एफ एम नाउ स्टूडेंट्स द फंडा ऑफ ए बी सी एनालिसिस बेसिकली अराइजिस in costing in uh, inventory management now any company any business uh, uh, trying to manage its inventories finds that its inventories or stocks uh, are of three types or can be classified into three categories uh, categories a b and c now in category a which items will come now students they have observed that uh, some 10 percent of items are very important say if 100 items are there then for about uh, 10 items the value wise it is 70 percent so value wise they are most important and number wise they are very less in number then there is category b uh, about 20 percent items which are value wise also approximately 20 percent and then category c number wise it is 70 percent these are very small uh, items many of them are insignificant and value wise it is only 10 percent so students you can obviously observe that category a items are most important because value wise weightage is 70 percent so they are most important and strict uh, uh, inventory control will be required for them then moderately important category b items and category c items will be least important students so this is briefly the funda of abc analysis now uh, the concept of abc analysis can be applied to many uh, real life situations and also uh, to the study also uh, uh, while framing strategy say for subjects like afm then students uh, even in life also see if you observe uh, abc analysis is applicable Uh, there are a few things uh, uh, the number wise they are not in big now they are they be counted on fingers but uh, otherwise their importance is very high say for example your education your career your health then the peace of mind and the life partner which you get so if you manage these few things in life then uh, the life uh, uh, around 80 to 90% percent, uh, Uh, reasonably you will be happy in your life so in this way in studies also students uh, you can use this funda in afm uh, we can apply abc analysis at two levels at chapter wise level and uh, at question wise level now see if you apply abc analysis at chapter wise level uh, then you can classify the chapters into categories a b and c so here however Uh, strictly speaking uh, students don't get much benefit uh, i tell you the reason see uh, the if you classify important chapters in category a then a few chapters in category b and then uh, remaining chapters in category c then what happens that uh, marks wise it is matching that 70 percent over 80 percent marks will be from category a chapters but number wise it is not matching number wise also uh, or volume wise uh, this will also be 70 percent so if both are 70 percent number also and value also uh, and here also likewise uh, least important 10 percent chapters have weightage also very limited say 10 percent only then strictly speaking it is not abc analysis students here by using abc analysis Uh, you don't get any benefit what is the benefit of abc analysis that you save time and cost but here you don't get any such benefit so and another thing that uh, if you in any uh, ca subject generally comprehensive coverage will be required you have you must study and cover all chapters so there also uh, it is not like that for uh, the category c chapters you can ignore or something like that so uh, uh, students chapter uh, chapter level uh, abc analysis uh, is not beneficial to the students so what here we suggest is question level abc analysis so let me explain to you uh, this will be very fruitful to you and here you can you, you will be able to save time 
in your preparation. Uh, so before we come to uh, classify problems, uh, we will classify uh, all the problems that you uh, study in uh, AFM into categories A, B and C. This is question wise ABS analysis. But before we come to this classification, uh, I would like to show you this matrix. Here you look at the screen. See the practical questions or problems which you study in your uh, CA final AFM can be classified from two angles. The first angle is uh, repeating versus novel. And the second ang angle is clear versus ambiguous. So here uh, these are uh, column titles and uh, these are rows, row titles. And then the, uh, in the boxes uh, here, you can follow the pointer. So it is the difficulty level. Here low means the low difficulty level. Here moderate means moderate difficulty level. And high means high difficulty level. And then difficulty level is same as risk. So high difficulty level means high risk for the students. So here uh, let's understand this uh, classification. This is very significant for you. So two types of problems are there in AFM, repeating and novel. By repeating here I mean that these problems have been earlier asked in the exam and they are found in your ICI study material or uh, suggested answers. In our question banks also all such problems will be there in uh, ample quantity. So uh, in this problem student uh, in many cases we observe that they are repeated even 10 to 12 times and there are many problems which are repeated 4 to 5 times. So and 70 percent of paper on an average how much percent 70 percent of paper uh, is uh, uh, full of uh, means is uh, comprises of repeating questions. The novel questions mean students that they appear in the exam for the first time. So here students will have to apply the conceptual knowledge which he has gained in the subject. Then only he will be able to solve. He has not solved this type of problem earlier. So these are the novel types of uh, questions. On an average maximum uh, we can expect 30 percent uh, of novel questions 30 percent in the exam however in some exams even 100 percent repeating questions are also seen so students call that paper relatively easy and in some exams rarely even 50 percent novel questions so students are uh, uh, term that paper as a difficult one so this is one way of classification another way of classification in afm particularly is clear versus ambiguous problems in clear problems the language of the problem is very clear and conceptually the solution is consistent with the problem and uh, logically if you apply the fund uh, concepts of the chapter then the same solution is given in ica module you logically arrive however in ambiguous problems what happens that uh, uh, many times the language of the problem is ambiguous that is more than one meaning is possible now the solution of the ICI in the study material or in the suggested answers is consistent with only one interpretation and or sometimes it is conceptually totally wrong uh, the ICI solution so in such circumstances generally it is seen that if you write the ICI solution then only you get marks. So here the added burden for the students for ambiguous problems is to memorize the solution. That remains the only way out or to memorize the important parts of the solution at least so that uh, the remaining part uh, they can write and the important parts uh, memorized so they will be able to attempt the solution. Now students let understand what the matrix means. See here if some uh, let's come to the repeating problems. Now repeating problems uh, they can be of two types clear and ambiguous now if the repeating problem is clear then see this is the lowest uh, difficulty level easy problems and the lowest level of risk so here the students can score very easily even uh, average level or even below average level students can also uh, score very good marks in these types of questions and fortunately around half of paper is of these types of problem students then repeating plus ambiguous so here uh, the difficulty level is moderate because it is repeating so student has seen these problems earlier uh, but be, uh, so it will be uh, easier but because it is ambiguous here the students would have to memorize the ICI method and steps so here remembering uh, memorizing ICI method and steps in your uh, original study and revisions is the key. So if you do this, then you can get uh, good marks in these types of problems also. 
so this is the okay now see we classify moderate uh, repeating problems we classify repeating problems into two categories category a and category c this is category b is here which i will uh, explain afterwards now see category a and category c means that uh, when this repeating problem is asked for the first time in the exam so we put uh, put it in category a and when it is repeating when it repeats we put it in category c so category c problems are very similar to category a problems so in revisions you can completely drop category c problems so this way you can save time students so category a and c you have understood now moreover the weightage of these problems is 70 percent so here as you attempt uh, a category a problems which all we solve in the class uh, in our question bank uh, i will uh, let you know this classification we both sirs have prepared uh, an excellent question bank and uh, in which uh, in the classes uh, we will let you know okay, which problems are in which category so category a problems which uh, uh, we will attempt sol solve in the class and you will also solve with us in the uh, with me in the class and category c problems will be in homework but in revision you can completely ignore uh, category c problems now let's come to category b now the novel problems are also of two types clear and amb ambiguous and uh, both of these uh, novel problems they are classified in category b students now uh, if the problem is novel but clear then the difficulty level is moderate because here it is clear so if the student has uh, studied conceptually and if he is able to apply the concepts correctly then he will be able to arrive at the correct solution which will match with the ICI requirement and he will get full marks so that is the moderate difficulty level so here conceptual study plus ICI method and steps are the key in uh, getting good marks in these types of problems conceptual study and ICI method and steps now student if the students if the problem is novel plus ambiguous that is if it is novel and at the same time it is ambiguous then what happens that uh, a student has not seen the problem earlier and at the same time uh, language is also ambiguous so which type of solution ICI is demanding and which type of solution ICI will write in the suggested answers it is very difficult to predict so these type of problems have the highest difficulty level and the risk level is also highest so here these problems are indeed very risky because uh, nobody can predict uh, what the ICI solution will be even the expert most expert teachers they can give the logical solution under different possibilities to these types of problems but which uh, solution ICI will write in the suggested answers that uh, nobody can predict students so this is the maximum difficulty level and here the luck matters in uh, getting good marks oh, but fortunately the weightage of these types of questions that novel and ambiguous this is uh, rare and it is very less okay so students this way uh, uh, we, we, will, we should classify the uh, practical questions into categories A, B and C. Category A most important, category B next most important and category C you can completely ignore and in this way you can save time in your revision etc. You can complete your revision in say almost uh, 80 hours uh, or even less than that in a pre-exam uh, six month study period okay now le students let's also have an idea about the classification of theory questions uh, we will classify theory questions also in categories a b and c and here the meaning will be slightly different uh, see the theory questions the important thing is that you are writing in your answer the ici points ici points i mean the points which the ici has written in the study material so category a means that those which have the highest chance these are often repeating uh, theory questions category b uh, has medium chance category b and category c they have negligible chance these are cornered questions which are asked uh, often rarely so this way we will classify the theory question students and uh, one more uh, one small clarification here that uh, uh, recently in ICI exam the, in AF, uh, SFM last two exams uh, tw uh, last two or three papers in 2023 uh, and 2022 uh, we observed that ICI has been partly asking 
uh, partly repeating and partly novel questions. So there this analysis will be applicable part wise, portion wise. But the what matters is the, actually the uh, use of the technique in problem solving. Uh, accordingly, you have to apply this. So this is the students, the concept of a question wise ABC analysis. Now, if you use this uh, funda in your strategy, then with less effort, you can get good marks. Thank you.